All right, thank you for that. Uh, Winnie, would like to find out your thoughts on this as well. Um, thank you so much. My stand on abortion is that it's a no, no, no. If we, our mothers aborted us, we wouldn't be here. And as a woman, abortion is misuse of a woman's body. Because what there is is I believe in certainty of life. I believe life starts at conception. And a woman knows when that life is in her, even in Bondos coming to say, take it away, that is a sin. That is banda, manda, manda. And what there is is, I'm surprised that we are even discussing this question in a Christian, which is 90% Christian country. We shouldn't even be talking about abortion, about gay marriage. It shouldn't be there at all. And this I pass to the church, and that's why I said church and the state, they work together. Because the state makes laws, which the church has to continue talking to the people and telling them this is wrong. A country like Kenya, we shouldn't be discussing about abortion, gay marriage, family planning, that the more morals of this country have gone down so low because people talk but they don't have the heart to practice with to practice what they are talking our leaders have failed us because kenya today we should not be talking about this issue it should be a no and a no mm -hmm. the marriage bill Oh, but before you get the, get to that, you have talked about uh, the issue to do with family planning. I, I, what, are you, what does it mean in terms of reproductive health care? Reproductive health care is something which is dear to my heart. Because I believe that nobody should tell somebody how to plan a family. Because there are so many people looking for children that they can't get. And there are others whom God gives them because God has chosen to give them. So the family planning is something which should just be between a husband and a wife. Okay, the country, the state comes in because of the resources. But we can be able to get more resources and get more kids if really our country is well planned. The problem here is that we are planning, but we don't implement. So that comes to a problem about family planning. Family planning should be just between a family, not between what is happening today because of morality, that the morning pill has become the end of the day. So to me, that is not family planning. On the issue of the proposed marriage bill? The issue of uh, marriage bail, I have seen, is so dear to my heart because when I look at what is happening to our country today, the women have become caretakers because, especially with the problem of so many orphans, so many marriages breaking, so many issues within the family, that women are left to become really like they never worked or they never did anything, but with equality of 50-50, which actually RMBK has started, there is no other party in this country which has looked at as women as equal. So I feel that is a bill which I will support. If there are small amendments here and there can be done, but a woman should be equal in this country because they work equally. We spend our money to, to educate a girl child and a boy child. So the marriage bill should be not taken just as a paper. It should be taken with a spirit of not equality that because women want to be equal to men, but women are able to do almost the same and actually better than men, especially on the family uh, um, platform. You have, you have five seconds to go. Okay, you're done. Thank you. Honorable Kion, you would like to find out your stand on same-sex relationships. Uh, abortion, family planning, and also uh, the final issue. Uh, thank you. If um, Honorable Musaria Mudavadi has given a mandate by Kenyans to manage the country in the coming five years, one of the things that will be top on our agenda is issues of family values. Because we believe that uh, if a country has good family values and we uphold the family values as we know them, then managing the country becomes easier and many of the issues that uh, afflict us uh, will not be there. When we talk about abortion, I, my position is that abortion 
is illegal and it should not be permitted. I know that uh, as it is uh, um, as it is provided for under Article 32 of the Constitution, the, it was difficult to quite agree with the wordings, and I know we sat with many church readers to try and work with the wordings this way and the other. And it will be important because I, it, as it's wanted, it will be important for the church to remain vigilant and also the readers to make sure that they remain awake to any person who'd want to um, misuse the article as it is uh, provided for. The words of a trained medical professional are a bit weak. It was not difficult, uh, easy to agree on another phrase, but it is important perhaps to redefine or to provide for the definition of that term uh, through a statute. And uh, it is important that whenever we think about abortion, think of the pain the unborn child goes through because nobody has been able to prove to us that that is not alive. So just imagine the pain of that child, that unborn child, uh, as, the, as the abortion is being procured. Mm -hmm. Safe sex marriages, my position is that I keep wondering why is it that our grandfathers and grandmothers uh, did not go through these difficulties that we seem to be going through now. If it is true that it is the human desire or the body that uh, desires the body of us, another man, if those feelings are true now, they should have been there during the, the days of our grandfathers. And I take the position that uh, these are influences of the civilizations that we continue to interact with, and we have to be to guard as a, a society. We also have values that we believe in, and this is something that we should not allow um, within our society. And again, a man a government will ensure that we use every platform and allow the church also to articulate uh, those positions in different forums, just not just within the church and or within the, the mosques, uh, all through so that we can be able to, our young people can be able, can be guide, guarded against the, those influences are enough. All right, when, I'm afraid your time is up, but uh, thank, thank you, you for that. Honorable Otodo, we want to find out what your thoughts, your, your individual stand on these issues. Uh, <clears throat> first and foremost, I'm a Catholic by faith and I will take the position of the Catholic Church. Therefore, on the issue of abortion, there is no abortion. And also on the issue of same-sex uh, marriage, marriage is between a man and a wife. And I just want to say that as much as I take that position, we should be live to the fact that in a democracy, it will be the voice of the majority at the end of the day. So the role will still be up to us to convince the others, because when we are legislating, it will be the majority of the members who will pass the bill. So me, I stand with the position of the church on most issues, and even on the issue of the marriage bill. That is my position. All right, thank you. We'll move on, and I will start this time from my left uh, with Honorable Ruto. This is a question that was sent by Ben Yamburi uh, through our email address, and his question is very direct. Do you tithe? That is, do you give offering to the church? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I, I do tithe, and uh, if you want the record, you can ask my local church in Sugoi. They will tell you all the proceeds from my farm. There is uh, a tenth that goes to the church every, every year. And uh, I believe that um, we have a responsibility as Christians towards uh, making sure that the activities of the church move ahead. And um, it is in the Bible. And uh, well, other faiths may not have it, but as a Christian, I think it's the way to go, and I do. All right, and this is just from me, how faithfully do you tithe? Pardon? This is just from me, how faithfully do you tithe? How faithfully? Yes. How do you measure how? <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> thank you for that. That was just with a light touch. Uh, on uh, Ronio Sumba. I tithe um, not as regularly as I should, but I do tithe and I do appreciate that uh, we must support the work of God. Uh, I also believe that uh, we must support 
uh, the work of the church through uh, supporting outside of the church because you can be able to support uh, charitable uh, causes uh, outside of the church and I believe all um, leads towards uh, building the work of the church. I would like to rebut something in the previous question if you allow that I think we must step down from the high road and appreciate that we do have real serious social issues that will not be fixed through legislation. The issue of abortion needs to be addressed conclusively because many are losing lives. Many women are losing lives and we need to address it. The issue of reproductive health needs to be put back on the table. The issue of same-sex We need to move forward. We cannot be going back and I, forth. I just thought it is important that we clarify that we cannot sweep these issues under the carpet and assume that they do not exist. They exist. They are a social problem. They need to be addressed. All right. Thank you. Now on to you. Do you tie? Thank you very much. This is something that has disturbed me for a very long time. I want to tell you that I don't remember the last time I tithed. I want to be very sincere, and I know that uh, God will forgive me, and I'll try as much as I can to tithe. But I want to say something. Now that we have our leaders here, I think after this, I'll have some civic education on tithing because I, I think maybe, you know, if you have a job or an age limit, I want to know these conditions of uh, how to tithe, when, and how. But what I can say is that I will tithe. That is a challenge, but I'll try my level best to tithe. Mm -hmm. uh, regularly. I would like to know then, do you also pay your taxes faithfully? When you talk about taxes, I've been jobless. And these are some of the things that most Kenyans have been frustrated in this system. How do you tell a jobless Kenyan who walks with one shoe for six months, walking from office to office with his CVs and looking for a job? This is somebody who walks home and you ask him to pay taxes unless there are some traveling taxes walking taxes, and other available right. taxes. Thank you. Thank you for that. Honorable Chuodo. All right, if we could just have some silence for Honorable Chuodo to be able to move forward with today's program. Yeah, Madam Moderator, talking of tithing and taxes, I must say I live with a tax woman. I know Kenyans are very heavily overtaxed, 15% wayward to 25%, sometimes about 30%. I have concerns with that, but I pay my taxes. I have my tax compliance certificate, and I also tithe. But I have to confess the 10%, and for the benefit of my brother here, supposed tithing is 10%. In instances, I may not have faithfully tithed as much as I would want to. But I have also to confess that I belong to three churches, Juba, Nairobi, and Homer Bay. So that sometimes brings challenges. But, Madam Moderator, you didn't allow me to give our stand in terms of same-sex marriages. We would want to state, if you allowed me my position. Is you will have to be very brief because we have to keep moving. As a former deacon, that's not only irreligious, but also a natural and an African. So my personal position is that that's a no-go area. All right. Honorable Kalonzo, do you tithe? Do you give offering uh, to the church? Uh, yes, yes, I do. But I have some difficulty. I don't talk about it. Um, and I'm guided by what the Bible actually talks about in the book of Malachi. Uh, the only time God actually asks us to try him and see if he will not do mirac miraculous things, you know. So the more we give, the more I'm sure you get blessed. Um, of course, the challenge, as my friend has said, is on uh, ensuring that it's at 10%. But um, I think that the message here is Kenyans have to um, appreciate we cannot continue to rely on external aid when it comes to church work. Uh, whether it's the Catholic Church, the Presbyterian churches, and therefore that habit about tithing is what is going to liberate even our own missionaries. We could end up sending missionar missionaries, I think, to America. I think they do need missionaries. But we can only do that if we begin to seriously take this work about tithing, for instance, and giving to church. And I'm sure the same applies even to uh, our Muslim uh, friends. 